Uh, I'm Sergio Duncan Sanchez. My tribe is Konka, Waukee, Winsun, Around Valley, and Western Shoshone. My name is Alberto Vasquez. I'm part of Mashiki. My name is Steven Thompson. I am New Walk. Uh, my name is Irene Vasquez. What tribe are you from? Uh, Mashika. Julian Guajardo, but I like to go by Juju. My tribe is Coast Miwok and Kashaya Pomo. My name is Kaylee Mize. I am Ho Chunk and Menominee from Wisconsin and Osage and Kwapa from Oklahoma. Dozan Randa Brightman. I am Chichimeca Otomi from Mexico and I am Sue Yaki and Blackfoot. Troy Duncan Sanchez. My tribes are Kamka, Wailaki, like Wintu, and Western Bound Shoshone. I'm Yeli Vasquez. I'm a part of the Mexica tribe. My name is Isaiah. My tribe is Ashika, Nearest Pierce, and Iowaki. To me, Spennett. And what brings you here today? My friend told me about it. As I went to the workshops, I realized what the program was really about, and I kind of got excited to be a part of something like this. When I got told about the mural, I was really excited to do that because I've always been wanting to do a mural. I just didn't realize how much work it was. And I was like, dang, I want to hear a devil thinking about it. But it's a really great experience. Shane asked me if I could be a student leader. I'm trying to do my best in any way possible. Really, this program made me have a lot of Native friends and I get to hear about what tribes that they are a part of. This mural actually helped me to have a lot of confidence in myself. One thing Shane taught me was if you mess up, never think about it too hard because it's always going to be fixed. When they make a mistake and, and I tell them it's okay because we can repair it. And then after that, they start to take more control and you see them just kind of move and it gets easier and easier. I like painting now. It's, I, find it, I find it real, really soothing. It just, it keeps me calm, it calms me down. I think the point of me being here is to build community and get to know some of the students, the families, and for them to know that I'm there to support them and just starting to build those relationships. What does this mural help you with? The passing of our ancestors and the people that was here from our tribes. I wasn't really into Native, but now I am. What changed? I was just wondering, like, what am I and all that. It is my first time learning my culture, and I want to see all of it. And that's what our goal is, is to call back the identity of who we are. And so the goal is being achieved. But on the other end, in 2023, we have our kids who are just now finding out about who they are. To me, what Native is a community. People that have been forgotten, stepped over. I think because it shows that there are natives on this land and in California, it shows that uh, we're still here. It's something that was trying to be erased a long time ago, so we're just trying to bring it back and show we're still here. I feel like this mural is really going to help people show who we really are and to tell people, you know, we did that. I feel like it's important to me so like I can tell my kids about what I've done in my younger days and putting like a good representation on myself. I was like 12 years old and then I went into foster care. I've been there for four years, but the only thing that makes me happy is making other people happy. If my brother was here, my mom, my family, it would be, be fun. As a youth that grew up in programs similar to this one, as the next generation, it's my responsibility to give that back to the kids. And so with people like Shane Grammer and Hope Through Art, you know, the collaboration with the Twin Rivers Unified School District, Native Dads Network, we're able to bring programs back that are gonna, that are gonna influence the youth for generations to come. I grew up around Mike and Albert and Patty. I always wanted to be involved. There was a little point in my life where like, I did uh, run away from home. Being clean and sober now, like I used to be addicted to weed. I used to drink all the time. So now like, this is what keeps me motivated to stay strong and give back to our Native community. And I think it's important to let younger kids know you're not alone. We all go through it. Not all of us go through the same thing. And I think it's beautiful, especially about this mural because each one of us had that different story. It's a sign of healing. That's what it is. It's a symbol of healing in this community. Uh, and I love this community. I love the land that we're on. Oh,
Just wanted to share a little piece of my heart. You say, we live in which really means from the deepest part of my spirit to your spirit.